I knew it. I called it. I freaking knew it. I knew it, guys. I freaking knew it. This boy over here. Hi. Welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about the summer event because they have finally dropped a lot of the event details. I mean, they call it a teaser, I think, but like they actually dropped quite a lot of information. And so in this video, as always, we are just going to get hyped up and we're going to have a look through all of these and see if like my predictions were correct. Because in my previous video, when this was first announced, I did talk about a whole bunch of things that I thought was going to happen in this summer event. And just to summarize, I did get a lot right. However, there are some like really pleasant surprises. And so with that being said, I'll stop playing Stalling Steven and let's just jump into the content itself. And so right off the bat, what we have is an official theme song, Season of Space by Lando, Feet Eve and Suisse from Yorushika. And on top of that, we are also getting an animated music video, which will also be revealed soon. So oh my, like seriously, they are putting so much money into this game. I love that they are making so much money because like these devs, they really deserve it, I think. But on top of that, they're actually pouring money back into the game. Like they are getting these collabs with all of these awesome artists. They are putting money into like making PVs or animations and stuff like that. And this is a fully animated music video. So like guys, just get hyped for it, okay? But there's not much left to be said about this one. And so let's move on to the event itself. So it's this bad boy here. In summary, we have Ocean Sovereign coming. That is the name of this upcoming event. It is starting in, I think, nine days from now. And so it's going to feature new stories, new characters, skins, and awesome content, blah, 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 blah. Let's get into it, baby. All right, so let's have a look at the first one. So what we've got is on the 19th of August, we're actually going to be getting the two stage events. You guys already know what it is, man. I knew it. I freaking knew it. They're alternating the events. It's the whole we have you guys like farming a stage, an event stage to actually clear out a currency shop and all of that. And then we switch over to the other side where you guys can like farm whatever the heck you want. And then you guys can probably earn currency for that as well. But like you guys get to like dictate where your stamina goes. And so doing that like ping pong approach, we are back to the event limited summer like story kind of event thing. However, what's interesting about this one is that we are actually going to get it from mid August to the end of September, which is going to be our longest event yet. That's about one and a half months. And so like this is actually split into like kind of two stages. And these two stages are actually going to change a lot of things. So like if you read on later on or if you stick around long enough, you'll see that we're actually going to get like two banners. But yeah, let's have a look at these two first. So we've got Summer Memories first. So the first stage of the Ocean Sovereign update, la di da di da Essentially, we're getting new event stages, an event redeem store, an event quest system, and a login event quest event thing. Wait. All in all, in a nutshell, this is probably going to be identical to like your phase one of the even sensor event. And so when I read this part over here, unlocked in phases, that does tell me that we are going to have like the farmable part and then we're going to have like the challenge mode after that. However, what is really interesting is that they are saying that there are going to be new game mechanisms for us to challenge. I knew it. I freaking called it. In my last video, I know I was like, yeah, they could do like puzzles and stuff, but like, I don't know, like maybe they can add more buttons and maybe they can add more like uh, enemy types. I don't know. Maybe we're going to be getting like a vertical axes. Actually, maybe we're getting a little crazy. Okay, let me just stop there. But yeah, essentially like the phase one and phase two of the sensor event, that's what I'm seeing over here. And then we're going to get event tokens and we're going to get a five star event Aurorian as well. You guys can probably imagine what's going into the store. You've got like the ascension materials. We're hopefully going to get that like breakthrough material for the old seal characters. All of the good stuff. I shouldn't need to explain this one anymore. And so let's move on to this guy over here, brain freeze. To be honest, I read this one like four times and I'm like, oh man, I don't know what this could possibly be. And so if you guys do have any idea on what brain freeze could be, drop it down in the comments below because like I'm having a brain freeze about brain freeze. They just have not given enough information for me to be able to like deduce anything about it. And so yeah, let me know. But otherwise, let's move on to the last one, which is end game. The second stage of Ocean Sovereign end game will begin in early September. Okay, this is really interesting. This part will require shrewd tactics and cautious strategizing. la di da di da However, the important part is that you'll be able to choose the actual difficulty of the stages you take on and will get corresponding rewards. Last video, I did say contingency contract or CC for you Arknights people. Like I did say that and that was half, you know, I was half joking, okay? But they might have actually went ahead and did it, these madmen. Oh my lordy. But that's going to be exciting to see. It's not like this is going to be like, you know, game breaking or anything new, but it's like, I guess it's quite refreshing from like your cookie cutter events. But yeah, this is definitely like a logical next step in terms of like progression because like these types of events have been done. They are more rare, but it's cool because it's going to spice things up a little bit. I think we're approaching what, like month two, the end of month two. And so what that means is that people are going to be having like the really busted units. Like for me, I have like all four of my teams with like all A3s. And so we're actually going to be able to like flex our brain muscles and see if we're actually be able to like clear these guys over here. But yeah, probably most excited about this game mode, the end game game mode. This is a wow, that sounds really hardcore. But that's it for my speculation. And so with that being said, let's move 
on to this boy over here, which is new event story. With the event stages, unravel the summertime story about, and I knew it, the navigator, vice, and several new characters. It's just a summer story. I, I, I told you guys, right? And so let's see if there is going to be any crabs or lobsters or anything. There's going to be a super awesome robot joining us in this up. What? What? <laughs> what? Usually when you think of a beach episode, you think of crabs, you think of lobsters, you think of whales, you think of fish or like fishing. Nobody thinks about robots. Who the heck? Oh my God. Oh my. Okay. You know what? Surprise me. Surprise me a two dog. I am looking forward to this. Okay. And so with that being said, let's move on to the new recruitment banner and new characters. So this is a good one. We've actually got two banners coming back to back rather than like the even since the... Uh, uh, debacle. We've got Six Star Aurorian Beryl and Six Star Aurorian Smokey, which will be coming one after another. And so what that means is that they are actually going to be getting their own banner each, which is amazing because like getting spooked by Eve or getting spooked by Sensa or whatever, it just hurts my head. However, what is different about this is we've got the Five Star Aurorian Bonnetier, 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 oh my god, somebody French, correct me, please. But essentially this is like your Dawn equivalent, like from your Sensa and Eve event, because like you can see Bonnetier is like the exclusive Aurorian to this event and can be redeemed in the event store. Wait a second, we'll get to meet six star Aurorians Beryl and Fleur. Wait a second, there's actually three six star Aurorians coming here. And so honestly, they might not have actually separated like, you know, Eve and then Sinsa. They might actually still have like Beryl and Fleur. On the other hand, we do have the six star Aurorian Smokey probably getting her own banner because she's coming in the second stage of the event. However, if I was to speculate, because it is like a month and a half long, I would say that we're going to get Beryl's banner for two weeks and then Fleur's banner for two weeks and then Smokey's banner for two weeks. This is like the optimistic me talking, but I actually think that's what they're going to do. Ever since the Even Since of Banner, I believe we've been only getting like one featured Aurorian per banner. So like in this RRR, we've got the AC. In the one before that, we only had Hero. And so like, I'm pretty optimistic. I do think that that's how it's going to work. And so to summarize again, we're going to get Beryl first and then we'll get Fleur and then we're going to get a Smokey. What does shoot that down is that we're going to have two six-star Aurorians versus one four-star Aurorian. Aurorian. And so I don't know how they would handle it if it was separate banners. Like it would be like Beryl and Pasolo or like Fleur and Pasolo or would it be Beryl and Fleur and Pasolo? But yeah, that's like my thoughts and my speculation on what this could potentially look like. And so with that being said, let's move on. Oh my lordy. This is what I'm talking about, baby. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Five new outfits to be released when the update lands. So we've got Vice, we've got Uriah. I did see all of your comments on my previous video. Yes, it actually does look like Uriah and you guys were right. It was Uriah. It definitely was not Beth. But then on top of that, we got Clek and we got Carleen and we've got AC. Mm, this is interesting. This is really cool because I like the fact that they're actually supporting like the four and five star characters as well and not just the six stars. However, they still have not revealed whether we are going to be able to buy them with like the Lumo crystals or like the Lumamba or whatever. Again, my speculation on this is that it still is going to be the Lumo crystals. Like I think it, this is one of the like potential where they can like go monetize, right? But yeah, super hype, especially for like Carleen. Look at that Carleen. Oh my God, mint. All right, moving on. Let's have a look. We got new feature, special event record. la di da di da Each navigator will receive a limited time special event record, which will guide you as you strive to complete the various summer event quests. This essentially sounds like a quest log that you would use for the Ocean Sovereign event. To be honest, this kind of sounds like what we've gotten all along. It's kind of like that like quest line. You got to do 10 quests and then you're going to get like some reward. Finish 20 quests and you're going to get another reward and then when you hit 40 quests, you're gonna get the best reward, something like that. I personally don't think that this is gonna be anything special, but like, surprise me, tour dog, surprise me. And so let's move on to the last one. Oh, it's, oh, is that a, wait, is that a Gundam? No, that's Soros, I think. Okay, I mean, Soros is kind of like a Gundam. Anyway, so lastly, we have amazing limited time bonus and discount gift packs. Hopefully, as they have been doing, this is gonna cater for us low spenders and potentially some dolphins and some whales. Hopefully, everyone will be able to get the packs that they want. Honestly, Alchemy stars has made me spend quite a fair bit of money like not like a lot of money but like you know the here and there's oh look at this cheap pack over here all of these rolls attached to it like you know go ahead and do it i personally don't feel regret like in the amount i spent like uh, uh, again guys i have not spent that much but there are a lot of games that turn out to be like really really scummy that like i feel like uh, well i regret spending on right and this is not one of those games i do think that they make like really enticing packs especially for low spenders and there are not a lot of games that actually do that usually it's like monthly and then like dolphins and then whales. For me in Alchemy Stars so far, it's been like monthly and then like a little bit more extra like that you could lump into monthly. So I'm talking like those $1.50 packs or like those like
like $16 packs, stuff like that. And then you keep going and then you go like to your dolphins and then you go to your whales, stuff like that, right? I'm really happy that that's the approach that they've taken. And so like they have slipped a little bit of cash out of my wallet. I think it's okay to spend a bit of money on your games, especially because they are like your hobbies. People spend like a thousand dollars on a fishing rod. Why can't I spend a thousand dollars on my gacha game? I'm just kidding, guys. I've never spent a thousand dollars on my gacha game. So like, uh, I, okay, you know what? Let's wrap this video up. All right, guys, I've got a secret message for you. Oh man, that does look like a Gundam. Wait, is that a gas tank on it? Oh my God, this is so well designed. Anyway, anyway, secret message summertime because these vibes are so summertime vibes i freaking love it oh hold up look at this silhouette we've got like the beach hat over here i'm super excited to see all of this oh my lord but yeah summertime that's the secret message guys and so if you guys could drop that secret message summertime down in the comments below i would really appreciate it because it means you've actually watched up until the end of the video and so thank you so much but otherwise please consider a like a sub a comment and if you guys don't have the notification bell clicked please click it if you do want to support the channel we do have a couple of affiliate links in the description as well as a membership program thing but otherwise as the navigator once said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video Bye-bye.